Hi everybody. Today we're going to be looking at uh, PHP. We're just going to go through some basics. Um, this will most likely be a part of a series. We're going to be working in Dreamweaver, as usual. And as usual, also, you can use any text editor you want or um, IDE, but uh, I prefer Dreamweaver. So in front of us we have a um, just basic PHP document. The only thing that sets it uh, apart from just a normal HTML document is the PHP extension, which allows us to put PHP code in our document. Um, and the way to do so, as I've mentioned in uh, some previous tutorials, is to put your PHP in uh, within these PHP tags. Um, you can have as many of these blocks of PHP throughout your page as you want, um, just as long as any PHP is done within these tags. The first concept we're going to look at, or, or part of PHP, would be uh, variables. If you're not familiar with the concept of variables, um, think back to high school algebra. A variable contains a value, and there are various different types of variables in PHP and, and many different programming languages. Um, first off, we're just going to go with the standard variable. And the proper syntax for a variable in PHP is the dollar sign and then the name of the variable. Now, the name of the variable can be pretty much whatever you want. You make it whatever is relative to what it is containing. So, we'll go ahead and we're going to call this variable here my age. And the lower uppercase uh, technique I use here for naming convention is uh, pretty standard across programming languages you can you know use this however you want just as long as you stay consistent with it the variable names are case sensitive so if you're gonna use this variable later on in your document you wanna make sure that you use the same case now at the moment this is not going to do anything and, and in fact if we uh, ran this we, we would get an error because we're not really doing anything here what we need to do is we need to assign a value to this variable so we're going to do my age equals 30 and with uh, any line of PHP code um, the way to end the line is with a semicolon and this tells PHP that we are done with this statement here. What we've done here is we have declared this variable. Uh, we've given it a value. Um, however, nothing is being done in the body. or uh, Nothing will be displayed in the browser. So if we save this and upload it, and we go ahead and refresh our page here, there's nothing. And even if you go to view source, Uh, the area where our PHP is is blank. One really great thing about PHP is that it does not show up in the source here. Um, makes it kind of nice. It's a, a nice way to keep, you know, your your applications um, and your codes kind of secret to yourself. Um, there are ways to hack into that, but uh, either way, it's a good thing to know. Um, let's go back to Dreamweaver. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about an echo statement. And the echo statement will echo or print or however you really want to phrase it. Um, whatever you tell it to, it'll, it'll echo it to the screen. So if we say echo, my age, and then or a semicolon. What this is going to do is it's going to echo out the value of the my age variable. Now this will actually show something on the page. So if we save and upload, there you have it. There's my age. And those of you just learning this or just learning the concept of of or any type of programming language, you might be thinking, why would I want to do that? Why wouldn't I just put my age in? normal in HTML. Um, those types of things you're going to learn later on as we get more in depth of it. Uh, this example right here, of 
course, yeah, it is pretty pointless. You might as well just type in your age. What we're going to do next is we're going to remove this echo statement here. And we're going to define another variable. We'll just call it my text. And instead of a number or an integer, we're going to put a string of characters into this variable. So to do so, we need to put uh, quotes here. And inside the quotes is going to be our, our string. And what we can do here is we can take the value of my age above and we can um, output it right here by simply typing in the variable name. And so what we can do now is echo my... So what's going to happen is it's going to echo my text. So it's going to spit out this string here and then right after the colon here in the space it's going to output my age which is contained in the my age variable. Let's go ahead and save and upload. And there you have it. Oh, another thing we can do with these uh, strings is we can uh, put HTML code inside of these strings. Let's go ahead and wrap this in an H2 tag for heading to and save and upload. And there you have it. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to comment in PHP. There are two methods of commenting in PHP. You can do a single line comment, which you can use the two forward slashes, or you can also use the multi line comment, to which you can put anything in between these. And there you have it. Now, as with HTML comments or comments in any other programming language, these will not show up on the screen or in your browser.